Okay then, let's get cracking. So in this video, in order to loop everything, we've almost got to retrace our steps, find all the animation that we've done, and tell it to loop. And we're going to tell it to loop in the um, graph editor, which you can find in Window, Animation Editors, and Graph Editor. There it is. It's a lovely looking thing, isn't it? Right, so it's about this time I'm going to start running out of screen space. And we'll kind of set it up like that. Right, so the first thing we set animation on was this effector. So if I select that, all that animation that we've added shows up as lines in the graph editor. So if I just move my mouse in here and press A, that will frame up nicely all the lines that I've created so far. So I'm going to select them all and tell them that after they've played once, I want them to go on forever. I do that by going into Curves, Post Infinity, and Cycle. And for that little bit of animation, that will continue to loop for as long as I want it to. So. There you go, it jumps once and then that effector continues animating. So we're going to do that now for everything. So we did that first. Um, we then did the height animation. So we need to find that, which is this group here. Again, there you go, you can see all that animation. I'm going to press A just to make sure I don't miss anything. Select all that curve and then curves post infinity cycle. Again, you can test that and you'll see that's now looping. Okay, we also need to get that joint in the foot. So I'm going to frame all that up. And then it's curves post infinity cycle. Got that. Um, we've also got a rotation animation to do. So frame that up again. Select all the curves. Curves post infinity cycle. Lovely. And then finally, um, I need to get the the one in the neck so I'll zoom in for that one again there it is press a and then curves post infinity cycle right now I've missed one out there on purpose and I'll show you why so at the moment I can cycle the animation um, like that that looks beautiful doesn't it but he's not going any further forward because we've not told that to cycle yet so I'll show you why this is slightly different. I'll do it exactly the same as I've done for everything else. So I've got a position animation, find my curve, and then select it and go to curves, post infinity, cycle. Watch what happens when I play this. It's cycling almost exactly. So it's actually going back to its original starting position, which is no good to us at all. So that's wrong. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go curves, post infinity, cycle with offset. And what that means is, yes, I want it to cycle, but from um, where it has ended up after the last time it looped. So if I click on that instead, and then rewind and play, it'll keep cracking on. Yay! Okay, so we're basically finished. Um, there's just one more video that we're going to look at and we'll call it a day at that so i'll see you in the next video where we'll complete this um exercise cheers